Hello and welcome. Today we are going to answer the questions, where do I put my JavaScript and how do I link my JavaScript to my HTML? Let's start by setting up our dev environment. I've got Google open, so let's search for VS Code, which is an integrated development environment. Click on VS Code in the search results. When the site loads, it knows I'm on Windows and it offers the appropriate version for download. You can also download VS Code for Mac OS and for Linux. If you don't already have VS Code, go ahead and pause the video to download and install it. Okay, now you've got Visual Studio Code installed and open. You should get a welcome screen like you see on my screen. Before we do anything else with VS Code, we need to create a directory, aka a folder, that we're going to save our files in. Let's minimize VS Code and open the File Explorer. I'm in my Documents folder and there are several directories I've created. You just need to create one folder. It does not have to be nested inside of several directories like mine. You can see I'm working out of the folder named JS2 that I created. In Windows, once you navigate to wherever you want to create the folder, you right click. Then go to New in the pop-up menu. From there, select Folder. I won't do that because I already created one. Once you've created your folder, go back to VS Code. Close out of the welcome screen and go to the file menu. From the file menu, choose open folder. Now select the folder you created and now your folder should be open in VS Code. I've got my JS2 folder open. Now we need to create an HTML document. Let's click the new file icon and name the new file index.html. Now I'll type an exclamation point to use an Emmet shortcut, which creates a very minimal HTML document. If you're not familiar with Emmet, it provides shortcuts to improve efficiency in VS Code. Let's type my page in the title of the HTML page. Let's also add a main element and an H1 element in the body of the HTML. And again, in the H1 element, let's type my page. We can save the HTML document by pressing Control key and the letter S at the same time, or we can go to the File menu and choose Save. Hopefully you're familiar with HTML and CSS already. If you are, you likely already know you can put a style element in the head section of an HTML page, and you can put your CSS style inside of it. You can also link to a CSS file. Let's do that now. Delete the style element, then go to the VS Code file tree on the left to click on the new folder icon. This creates a new folder inside our folder. Let's name the new folder CSS. While the CSS folder is highlighted, click on the new file icon and name the new file main.css. And now we're ready to add content to the CSS file. I'm going to select some CSS that I created earlier and just paste it in because this is not a CSS tutorial. Please feel free to pause the screen and copy the CSS styles into your file if you want. Let's go back to our HTML file. Inside the head element, let's create a link element and link to the CSS folder we created. VS Code wants to help us out and offers the CSS folder that it sees. After we select the CSS folder, VS Code sees the main.css file as well. Now we have linked our CSS file to our HTML file. With JavaScript, we use a script element. A script element will have a source attribute. And this is where we link to a JavaScript file. Also note, that unlike the link element, the script element has a closing script tag. We can remove the source attribute and put JavaScript inside of the script element. In the previous video, we typed directly into the Chrome DevTools console. Instead of doing that, let's log something to the console from inside the script tag in our page. Let's enter a console log statement with hello world and save the HTML file. Now we need to go back to Chrome. Let's first change the web address to about colon blank like we did in the previous video to get a blank page. Now let's open up DevTools by pressing the Control, Shift, and the letter I keys at the same time. 
or you can right click and choose inspect from the menu. Click on the console tab then near the top right. Let's go back to VS Code and make our window smaller so we can see the Chrome Dev Tools on the right and we'll have VS Code on the left. We need to open our web page in Chrome in order to see JavaScript log our message inside the console. In Chrome, press the Control key and the letter O key at the same time. Browse to your index file and select Open. We see our page open on the left and we see Hello World in the console on the right. Now let's put JavaScript inside its own file and link to it from our HTML. Let's add another new folder named JS. With the JS folder highlighted, click the new file icon. Let's name the new file main.js. Let's go back to the HTML and copy our console log statement. Delete the script statement for now. Paste the console log statement inside your main.js file and save it. Now let's go back to our HTML. We can put in a new script element and provide the source attribute. VS Code shows us the available folders and we will choose our JS folder. VS Code tells us that our main.js file is available inside the JS folder. Select our main.js file. Now we have linked our JavaScript file to our HTML file. When we go back to Chrome and reload the page, we continue to see our Hello World console log message. Let's add more JavaScript to our main.js file by reviewing some of the things we covered in the last tutorial video. Below our Hello World message, let's add another console log statement. This time use the type of keyword with your name inside of quotes. Underneath that, put another console log statement with the type of keyword and the number 42. Below that, put another console log statement with the type of keyword and a true value. Now press the control key and the letter S key at the same time to save your file. Let's return to Chrome to reload. Now JavaScript delivers all of our messages in the console. Hi, I'm Dave, and I hope this tutorial has helped you understand where to put your JavaScript and how to link it to your HTML. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new videos. I'll see you next time.